Hi everyone, welcome back to Java class. In today's session, you will learn how to handle mouse related events. So in order to handle mouse events, we have to know about it. What is a mouse event class? So what is it? Mouse event is a class that encapsulate information about mouse events such as mouse clicks, movement and mouse actions. Mouse event class contains multiple methods like get x and get y method that returns the x and y coordinate of mouse event relative to the source component it contains multiple methods like get point get button and get click count also and we will explore during the programming right so in order to handle mouse event we have a corresponding listener also that is known as the mouse listener right so mouse listener is an interface that listen for a particular mouse related events and it has multiple methods like mouse clicked method. So this method is called when mouse has been clicked, right? When you click from the mouse in the similar way, we have multiple methods like mouse pressed. It is called when you press the mouse, mouse release. This method will be called when you release the mouse mouse entered this method will be invoked when mouse enters inside a component and it next is the mouse exited this method is invoked when mouse is exit from the component so these are the five methods which are present inside the mouse listener interface so let us move to the eclipse and understand how to implement mouse related events so here is a program where we have created a class mouse event handling which is extending a JFrame. Inside this class, we have added only a label, right? This is the properties of a frame and we have added a label that is showing a message. Mouse events will be displayed here. Let us run this program and let's see what is the output. But inside the main function, we have to call this constructor that is mouse event handling. Or we have to make this frame as visible right make a frame as visible right so how to make your frame as visible you will call a function set visible and inside it you will pass a value true so this is a program let us run this and you will see what is the output of it here we go you can see this is a program and it is showing a message mouse event will be displayed here. This is a label which is displayed on a J frame. But here you can see I am clicking from the mouse. I am releasing the mouse. I am just, just you know, doing movement from the mouse and the mouse is exit from this, you know, current window display, but it is not performing any action. So how will you implement your, uh, how will you implement your, mouse listener interface uh, let us close it and let us learn how to implement the mouse related events so step number one is you will implement you will implement mouse listener right this is a step number one so how will you implement mouse listener simply you will use the implements keyword or you will write the mouse listener right clear so this is your step number one step two you will register register the listener register the mouse listener so how will you register mouse listener simply you will call the add mouse listener with this current object right this is step two you have to follow all the steps step three you will override all the methods of mouse listener interface and how will you override you will hover your mouse over mouse event handling and here you will click on add unimplemented methods or inside it you can display some messages here you can see mouse clicked mouse pressed mouse released mouse entered and mouse exited these five methods has been overridden or you must override all these methods in order to handle the event handling concepts so how will you do it so let me display message we have created a label so the, it is label dot set text 
so i can display a message here i can display message the mouse exited right i can display ma message mouse exited or i can display the coordinate of your mouse x and y that is mouse exited at or i can display like this or i can write here the plus the e dot not this one the e dot oh, oh, oh my god this is the event right this is the event this object e i am trying to write e dot get x means it will return the x coordinate plus or get x or you can display this comma or you can display the y coordinate also e dot oh my god again it is coming e dot why it is coming e dot get y right get y it will display the y position of it right so this is a method plus i can display this one or this inside it okay so in the similar way i can copy this or the code i can enter inside this entered method so i can display the message mouse entered so let us run this program and you will see what is the output of it so here is a program and you can see you are just entering your mouse your mouse entered event is generated mouse entered event is triggered you can see it is showing your mouse position 196 dot comma 35 if you exit your mouse it will display at which x and y coordinate your mouse is exited you can see okay so in the similar way you can implement the code you can add some code inside mouse release also mouse pressed also and mouse clicked also so guys i hope you understand how to implement the mouse listener interface in the similar way you can implement the mouse motion listener interface so corresponding to mouse we have two different listener the first one is the mouse listener and second one is the mouse motion listener so here how will you implement mouse motion listener so simply you can implement one more interface also mouse motion listener now the compiler is complaining because you have to override the method of mouse motion listener also you can click on add unimplemented method so go down here and you can see your two methods related to mouse motion listener interface has been overridden so two methods like mouse dragged or mouse moved means if you will move your mouse over a component this event will be triggered right so in the similar way i can write this code here this code inside a mouse moved or i can display message mouse moved here right moved so let us run this program and you will see what is the output of it so here you can see mouse entered mouse exited let me just save it and let me see why, why it is not working this is mouse moved right so okay we have to use with the dragging also let me just close it and let me see why it is not showing okay okay i think we have done we have not registered this listener right so i have to register this listener add mouse motion listener right and we have to register this listener with the current instance of it so i will close it i will close all these frames so let me just save it and you will see what is the output of it so here we go you can see now i am just moving our mouse it is showing mouse moved at x and y coordinate it is showing so in the similar way you can implement the mouse dragged event also right you can implement the mouse dragged event also so whenever you will drag your mouse it will show the x and y coordinate so guys in the similar way you can implement the mouse listener interface mouse 
motion listener interface and you can override the multiple methods or inside these methods you can add the multiple functionality of your programs so i hope guys you understand how to implement mouse listener and mouse motion listener so guys thanks for watching if you like this please click on the like button subscribe the channel and do not forget to write your feedback in the comment section thanks for watching bye bye for now have a great day we'll see you in the next class